Well, this message is all about facing challenges when you are in the midst of pursuing God. Now, I hope if you're watching this, you have some desire to pursue God in your life. There's so many reasons why that's so important. And yet, often as we pursue God, we have sometimes this idea or expectation that it's going to be easy that everything's gonna be kind of smooth sailing and work out just the way we want, and yet often it doesn't work out that way. Often we end up facing challenges and hardships that we weren't expecting, and we even have to deal with things that we thought we probably wouldn't have to deal with if we were pursuing God. Sometimes our marriage is still struggles and our kids still rebel, and we still face uh, even spiritual doubts and questions. And so the question is, how do we keep moving forward in our pursuit of God when it gets difficult? Well, we're going to look at Psalm 121 today because it's a great encouragement to some people who are in that exact same situation. You see, Psalm 21 was written to people who were on a, a journey, a physical journey to Jerusalem, and were facing hardships along the way, and yet had to find the faith and strength to keep moving forward. So Psalm 121, Psalm 121 is a part of a group of songs called the Songs of Ascent, right? There are 15 psalms, all called the Songs of Ascent, and they were written to encourage the ancient Jewish pilgrims as they would make these, these journeys every year to go to Jerusalem to worship God at the temple. They would go at different times throughout the year for different festivals and reasons. They would go and they would make sacrifices, but this is a big part of their pursuit of God, to go and, and connect with God at the temple in Jerusalem. It was very important to them. And yet, Jerusalem as a city is kind of nestled up in the mountains. And so for a lot of these people, it was a very difficult journey uh, to kind of go up and down over these mountains and ridges. It was a long journey through the desert and up the mountains to actually get to Jerusalem. And not only was it physically challenging, there were a lot of dangers they encountered along the way because there were bad guys that would often try to take advantage of these pilgrims. They knew they probably had money and stuff they were going to be giving to God at the temple, and so they were trying to rob them, and they would hide in the bushes and attack them. And so it was kind of a scary thing. And so as these pilgrims are making this journey of, of pursuing God in Jerusalem, Psalm 121 was written there to encourage them along the way. And we're going to look and see several things that can encourage us as well in our own pursuit of God. Here's the first thing we learn from the psalm, that we should seek God in the mountains. See, here's Psalm 121 starting in verse 1. It says, I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. You see, that psalm, it says, I look to the mountains. Where does my help come from? And it kind of sounds like that's like an inspirational idea, you know, like if you're down, just look up to the hills and you'll feel so much better. But really, when he talks about looking to the mountains, the mountains represented fear and danger and insecurity. And what he's saying there is saying, as I look up at those mountains, I'm a little freaked out and I need help. And that's the first thing we learn from the psalm is it's okay to be a little freaked out because pursuing God is sometimes challenging and difficult. It causes us to sometimes have to do some difficult things, and we do need help. And what I love about this psalmist is, is he recognizes his need for God's help. He doesn't try to just say, I'm going to do this on my own. I don't need God. I can tackle that mountain by myself. No, he, he seeks after God, and that's one of the first things we need to remember. Often as we face challenges, you know, we're proud as human beings, and, and sometimes we feel like, ah. I can do this on my own. I don't need God. And yet we need to be humble and recognize how much we do need God. And we need to seek him out in prayer and seek him out in his word and seek help from other people in our life, from other Christians in our small groups and at church. And, and we need to not be too proud to seek help just like this psalmist did. But as you're seeking God, there's another very important truth to remember. You see, we need to always remember that God is in control. Remember what those verses say? He says, I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. You see, he has so much confidence. He knows to look to God. And as he looks at God, he is reminded of just who God is, that God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. That's a way of saying God is in control of everything everything. There is nothing outside of his realm of power. He made everything you can see and even can't see, and therefore he is in control of it. And sometimes we need to be reminded of that as we are facing these challenges, because it can feel overwhelming sometimes, and like, God, are you really there? Can you really handle this problem that I'm facing? And we need to be reminded that, no, God's got it. God is in control, and we always need to remember that truth. But we don't just remember, we also need to trust in God's promise to guard us. 
You see, the psalm gives us a great example of God's promise to, to look out for us and take care of us in our lives. Look what it says in these verses. It says, He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as a protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. See, he gives this description that as you're going along on this journey, God is there for you. He is watching over you, but not only is he watching over you, he is actively guarding you. He is, he uses language there like he is, he is protecting your steps wherever you go, you know. Picture climbing a mountainside, you know, and there's rough rock on the ground. God is there guiding your steps, making sure you don't get too far off track. And it says he, he shields you from the sun by day and the moon at night. That represents all the various dangers that are out there in the world, you know. And, and God is there and he is shielding you from those things. And what I love about this is the psalm emphasizes that God never lets his guard down. He never has to take a nap. Some of the ancient pagan gods, the people believe that those gods had to take vacations to get naps sometime. And he said, no, the real God isn't like that. God is always watching over you. You never have to doubt that he is there as your guardian. Finally, we also need to believe that the destination is worth it. You see, we seek after God, we remember God's power that he's in control, we trust in God's promise to, to guide us and to be our guardian, and ultimately, we, we believe that where we are going, this pursuit of God, that in the end, it's all going to be worth it. Yes, it might be difficult and challenging, but we have to constantly believe that by faith, that it's going to be okay, because I've got an incredible destination out in front of me, and it will be worth it. And that's how the psalm ends, by drawing our attention to eternity. It says this, the Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go. He's repeating those ideas, but then he says this, both now and forever. See, whenever the Bible talks about forever, he is drawing our attention toward heaven. And that's what God wants to do ultimately in the psalm is to, to draw our attention toward heaven and say, yes, I know pursuing God can be difficult sometimes, but it will all be worth it because we have the glory of heaven and eternity to look forward to. So let me just encourage you, if you're facing a challenge right now in your own pursuit of God, you've come across things that, that are difficult in your life, don't give up. Don't fall into the temptation of saying, ah, it's too hard, I'm going to quit. Keep seeking God and remembering his control and that he is, he's got all the power in the world. And, and remember his promise to, to guard you and trust in that promise and ultimately keep focused on that destination because it's always worth it.